so fucking smoky in here. <laughs> oh, which one has the coffee? Oh, don't grab that. Don't grab that without this. Uh, oh, it's hot. Hotter than a two dollar pistol. Oh, she was hotter than a two dollar pistol. She was the fattest. Got that right on. Oh, my gosh. Holy. <laughs> what? Smoky in here? Leave her right open. No, cuss not. All right, go ahead and leave her open. Okay. Put some clothes on. Wow. Can't see. Smoke in here. Is it smoking? It's a bit foggy, actually. <laughs> First guy says something about the cooking. Yeah, we know what happened. I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead to help Pat to breakfast. <laughs> what does she call? Yeah, oh, drive that in here. It's fantastic. Don't use coffee kicking around. There's some coffee kicking around somewhere. Did you get some? Yeah. Donnie, there's another potato here for you. Can you drive a potato in here? Yeah. That a boy. You've seen the video, you know he's that. Those good potatoes. <laughs> Donnie pretended to be mad that I got those potatoes, Pat, but he, he couldn't stop smiling when I brought them out. What do you think, fellas? How's breakfast going? Good stuff. It's going good. Is it edible? It is. Oh, yeah. Coffee's hot. It's not the worst you ever had, is it? No. Well, what are we going to try to do today? Something, even if it's wrong. I think we ought to still try to get in the lobster. <laughs> Yeah, I do too. Maybe via Eddie Raymond's? Yeah, unload over there and go up. I know there's a trail that goes along Lobster Mountain, you know, on that side. I heard I heard one of those trails we definitely can't take, but the but the one we can. I've, I've been on it, but I can't remember how the hell I got on it. We'll go up to Eddie Raymond's. If he's around, we'll talk to him. If he's not. We'll go look for trail signs. Yeah, you'll be around because this is a busy time of year. Somebody sent me a message said, go see Eddie Raymond. He's ornery. He's a little ornery, but he's a nice guy. Yeah, he is. <laughs> so I like Eddie. How many eggs do you think you could eat? Someone said, I'm going to fry you a bunch of eggs. Fried? Just like you made them. Over easy. Eight. Oh, it's kind of look at that pretty sky back here. Thank you. That's a reflection off that light, Donnie. Oh, you know what they say. <laughs> no, <it's not> <laughs> red, sky. red sky in the morning, sailors take warning. Hold yeah. on. Hold We're on a fishing trip. Oh, Dad. And we got up. And uh, it was a red sky. And I said, ah, red sky at night, pigeons take flight. And he was like, no, that's not how it goes. That's what you mean. He's like, red sky at night, sailors delight. And I'm like, no, red sky at night, pigeons take flight. <laughs> it's red sky at night, sailors delight. Red yeah. sky in morning, sailors take, take warning. Right. Yeah. Pat says, red sky at night, pigeons take flight. Red sky in morning, pigeons do something else. <laughs> and he was, I was said it dead serious. He was like, that's not how it goes. No. Like, he was fired right He was up. fit to be tied. Really? He's yeah. not going to let a saying go wrong <laughs> like that. Oh, that was funny. Man. So now, every single time I see him, 
Pat's kids know what is red sky at night. Pigeons, pigeons take, take flight. flight. <laughs> and if it's red sky in the morning, pigeons do something else. Yeah, something, something, something. <laughs> something, something, something. We're not 100% sure what we're going to do today, but we're going to probably jump on the snowmobiles. We're going to go get loaded up on the trailers because you're not allowed to run the snowmobiles on a plowed road like the Golden Road. Take the haulers down the Golden Road, turn off loop, and head over to Eddie Raymond's store and see about a trail that might get us into lobster. And also take a look at Moosehead Lake, see what that looks like for slush. And if it looks good, we're gonna, we're gonna try to fish somewhere. You know, as of yesterday, we were thinking we might not get to fish on this trip at all. I mean, there's bad slush just on this little pond. I can't even imagine what the big ponds are. And the last thing we wanna do is get stuck in the slush. That's a nightmare. But temperature, weather today, as you can see, t-shirt, it's pretty mild. We're like mid to upper 20s right now, Fahrenheit. It's about seven in the morning. We drove some breakfast into us and having some good conversation in there and kind of thinking the plan over a little bit harder exactly what we're gonna do. So I think, I think we're set up for a pretty good day. We just gotta figure out what we wanna do. I think one thing's agreeable is that we all wanna try to fish somewhere, whether we catch anything or not, but just sometimes just the try-ins all that counts and half the fun of it's in the try-in, you know. We're already set up for a trip that we won't forget, I can promise you that. Just getting in here and this time of year with all this snow was quite a feat. But we got to change Donnie's belt on a snowmobile. I guess it's the original belt and he was slipping pretty hard even on the flat ground. So we got to change that today. That's about it for gear. Otherwise we're looking pretty good. Holy smoky in here. Not bad now. Not bad when you sat in here. Pretty damn good in here. You guys giving Elliot an education in here? We were probably talking yeah. some things. Yeah, he's... the dirty seagull. He that was his favorite. Yeah, I'm not gonna um, put that on TV, Pat. No, I know. That was his favorite. Yeah. This isn't my new one. Oh, it is. No, this is a Walmart's clearance Kershaw. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about the time Pat and I were in Walmart <laughs> looking at knives, and I was like, Oh no! Oh my balls! <laughs> Oh, what is that? You dropped your my ball bearings from my slingshot. Oh, we were in Walmart. Looking Fathers, at, maker and mischief, slingshot. The best ever. Looking at Donnie, we were looking at knives, and I go, geez, be careful, Pat. I go, be careful of Shark. And he goes, I forgot more about knives than you'll ever know. <laughs> and I look over, and he's got a blood trail going the, all the way to Walmart. He sliced his whole hand wide open. Really? Yeah, yeah and then there was a blood trail all the way out the door. And he's like, Whoa, Do you want to hear the real story? Yeah. So we're sitting there at Walmart. He's looking at these knives and like, dude, these are cool, really sharp. He keeps doing that, you know, like, yeah. I said, smart, you're going to cut yourself. I forgot more about knives. And so I'm like, whatever. So I'm looking at something all of a sudden here. And I go over and he's doing this. He's walking away and I'm like, what? He's got a blood trail. He's cut himself wide open on the knife. Really? And I said, oh, you cut yourself? He's like, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. He laid himself open. That was hilarious. <laughs> it's true. Every bit of that's true. That was so funny. Pull that cord for me. Guys, we made it out. Well, where's Donnie? Uh, 
Should probably stop to look at them tracks. No. No, he's always going at his own pace. pace oh. that should work what's happening all good oh yeah guys fishing uh we were on moosehead or yeah how'd it go nothing <laughs> how, how's the slosh um it's not, it is was it real bad uh, for a couple three days yesterday it wasn't too bad okay uh, it tightened up right were you up in northeast Kerry? yeah subic point yeah we're gonna head that way. We're gonna try to get in the lobster if we can. Yeah. But if we can't, we're gonna probably hit most of it. There you go. Yeah. You guys have a good time. Thank you. Have a great day, guys. Be safe. Good luck. All right, we are on the road heading up to Eddie Raymond's, or down to Eddie Raymond's, I guess and see if we can get to either Lobster Lake. We know we can get to Moosehead, but I imagine it's pretty slushy. Hopefully Lobster's not too bad either, but we're gonna head over to Eddie's and see if we can pick up that trail to get you into Lobster Lake and see how it looks. If I got a brake trail the whole way, it's definitely not worth taking, but then we could just fish Moosehead. If, if it's been broken at least before the last storm, then it'll be worth driving in and Lobster is a really special lake for Donnie, so I'd love to be able to get him in there and just fish. Just to get in there, really, and see Spencer, Big Spencer, Little Spencer, see the mountains. and You know, just around that lake would be a great thing for him and me as well. First time for me. It hasn't. Oh. Do you know if anyone's broken through? I've had plenty of people to fish and lobster, so. How the hell did they get in there? I wonder. Halfway through. Oh, okay. Coming in the other way. Well, they go down. There were vehicles parked there, so they must be going on uh, the loop road. Yeah, that has a good plow, but I see some snowmobile. Yeah tracks. Yeah. I think that's how they're doing it. Getting on at Ledbetter's, do you think? No, that you're not allowed this year to oh, go okay. on that route. Oh, okay. So, beyond that, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. I know that it's supposed to be a roundabout way of doing it, but... Yeah. Is there a trail from here? no real trail it's just people knowing how to get there from here yeah huh. i can't give you directions that way because i have never been <laughs> ah, okay well thank you Good luck. yeah be careful because they said moose head and lobster oh the last group. slush yeah yeah, wicked. You know, we've had the same thing. All right, we are going to do it. We're going to fish here at Northeast Cary on the northeast part of Moosehead Lake. Not known for like the best brook trout or coke fishing, but hey, we don't care because we're fishing. And our plans kind of fell apart with how bad the conditions are and the slush and everything. Now, we didn't 
move around too much out here because there is quite a bit of slush on moose then. Slush a bad thing. The boys are bringing their sleds. Let's see what happens. One little patch of slush right here. I gotta get through. I won't have a problem with these guys I'm a little worried about. Oh, no problem. No problem. We're good. Sorry, guys. We're switching gears and moving into brook trout. We, we were all rigged up for Lakers. So that's what we're looking at here. We had all dead bait to fish lobster. We got about that much ice. So we're looking at about five foot of water there. That's perfect. So we brought up some jack smelt, some freshwater jack smelt for bait. And I do have some pin smelts too. So we'll get the pin smelt set. But this one we're gonna set a jack smelt. So there's seven to eight, seven, five to eight pound brookies in this lake. So I don't think they'd shy away from that with that hook, do you? No. So you just, the only thing you gotta make sure is you get that air bladder punctured. And if the guts have air in it, you can kind of feel them. You gotta get those so it doesn't float upside down, belly up. So it feels like we're good. We'll know in a second. If he, how he sinks. Kind of want him to sit. All right, he's sinking. But he's a, he is upside down, so we're going to try to squeeze that air out of him. You hear it? Yep. So now we should be golden. That's a lot better. That'll sit, that'll sit at least upright. And we had about five foot, so we want to be like mid-column. And although you're probably not going to catch many Lakers this shallow, you can still catch Lakers this shallow. All right. Be exciting if this one goes up for a brookie, won't it, Elliot? Oh, yeah. Put that big bait on there. Might pick her up just one more notch. That big bob sits down pretty low. And then you want to make sure you're your reel isn't hitting the side of the ice because a fish will feel that too. And we're set up just like that. Great. On to the next one, bud. You got a fish? Huh? You got a fish? Nice! <laughs> Laker. <laughs> you were handlining it, huh? Well, look at my spool get all. Dude, what a pretty down. lake trout. Oh, yeah. Hey! I can't, it's too slimy. Hold on, I gotta get this. You got your hemostats? Okay. No, I don't have anything on me right now. Keep it or let it go. I don't want it, you guys wanna eat it? I don't care. I gotta, I gotta look at the laws here to be honest with you. All right, he's going back. Okay, good job, buddy. Thanks. Whew. Nice. Well, we didn't get skunk, guys. No, we did have a mess though. All right, Pat's got quite a mess going on here. I saw him hand over fist in that fish in, so I punched her to get in here and look. And he had a fish, got it on the jig rod. In what, five foot of water? No, there's like 10 here. Oh, is there? Yeah. The deepest we hit out there was about But 15. he hit it right under the ice. It just went under the ice when he hit Lakers it. are so funny. Those are random. No, uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little Swedish pimple with a stripe of yellow on it. That's what he's fishing. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we got two lake trout traps out there and we got two brookie sets in here so elliot and i are going to go set some more brookie traps and we're going to go from there okay is it running so first thing you want to do is see if it's running uh, it's not running hold on then you look and see if the line's to the side or not it's kind of to the side yeah so there's a pretty good chance to fish on so you're going to want to come over here because it's that way you always want to be away from it and now you're going to just feel the line. If you feel any weight on it, snap them. Pull them hard. He dropped it. Okay, he definitely chewed it. So he hit it. He hit it pretty good. Oh, look at that. Change the bait? Yeah, we could change the bait. This one's pretty mangled. He'd eat it. Wanna leave but it that would have been a nice rookie if we didn't have bad bait. If we had live bait. You don't know if Eddie Raymond sells crawlers, do you? Jeez, he might sell crawlers. Yeah, we might take a quick ride up. Rookies yeah. love crawlers. 
Would you jig them or just... What do you need? You know, it looks like 80 pounds. Ah, negative. No. No, what do you need for real? Just what what pound test? Whatever you got. I have 10. Let's go 10. 10? Okay. Or 12. 12. You got I got floral. Yeah. Only trouble is, Pat, if I gave some to you, I'd have to give some to everybody out here. You know what? <laughs> yeah, we'll give you some. We got two flags, Pat. I know. That one stripped them at you least. You didn't hear us hollering when you got that flag? No. Ten minutes ago. Well, you guys have been yelling at each other, fighting the whole morning. Yeah. Donnie's facing the other way. He can't even stand you. Look at me. Won't well, even look at you. Look at him over he there. Give me the finger every time you <laughs> said it's not fair that flags go up the side on both sides of them and he doesn't catch anything. Why isn't he catching anything? I told him to put something on his line, but he's like, no, they're too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> no way. He's, he's gonna film. All right. So you guys are gonna be on the next episode. Give All us your right, name one day. more time. TJ, Zach, Gavin, Gavin, Tanner, Tanner. Awesome. From Wyndham, oh, yeah. Maine. From Wyndham. Nice. Wow. You guys come a long way. Oh, yeah. Ten guys yeah. from Wyndham. Ten. Just a few hours. Eight, eight of us. I think. Nice. Yep, yep. You guys doing some riding today or fishing? Uh, we're we're fishing. fishing. We just came for a little ride uh, right now, but we're nice. fishing. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. And how long are you guys up? We came up Wednesday, we're leaving Sunday. So. Nice. Yeah. Good trip. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Catch something giant. Yeah, yeah. we'll Bro see. We're we'll trying. Brookies or toad? What are you guys thinking? We, we've we been... caught a couple of rookies and a salmon so far, and a laker. So. Nice. Yeah. It's a good day. Yeah. We're, so good yeah. Yeah. So we're just getting get set up. Morning. Elliot had two flags. We just have Perfect. old dead bait, just yeah. nasty stuff we brought up for lobster. And, yeah. and then our buddy dropped his jig down, caught a toe, oh, <laughs> five foot of water, <laughs> just like that. Yeah. Yeah. I told these guys, you can fish moose said your whole life and never get a day like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No yeah. end. Right. Sun just beating on you. Yeah. Yeah, this no, is awesome. Today's a good day. Well, cool. Well, good to meet yeah, you guys. Yeah, good to meet you. Thanks, thanks for checking out the channel. Yeah, Be safe out there. Yeah, you yeah. too. All right, guys. Too. Thanks again. Be safe. Lunch. Lunch is served. You did a good job cooking. Thank you. Yeah. With a hot pepper and pickle to go with it. Look at that. Yeah, I try to go what all out. What is that pickle? What's that? Is that like spicy? That was a hot pepper. Hot pepper. You all right? You know that pickle. Do you eat a pickle yet? No. Eat it. Is it dill? No. It no, isn't? No. You all right? It's like dough, or like half dill and half dough. Good. It's good? I don't know. It's normal pickle. Does it? Maybe something wrong with my mouth. <coughs> There's definitely something wrong with your mouth. <laughs> All right, guys, I broke away from the group to try to find us a route to get onto Lobster Lake. Found it pretty easy, not far from Eddie Raymond's there. The trail's pretty bumpy. It's like a washboard, bumpier in a sieve, right up and down, straight up and down. Got in there, went across the lake, popped out, and then I hit the loop road, I guess the west side of the loop road where it pops back out on, I think what they call the Sabumic Road, the Eddie Raymond's Road. And now I took it the opposite direction. So I'm right now I'm by Little Lobster Pond. So the place where we're staying should be like right over there on top of the hill. Only, only probably a couple miles crow flight to get there is a different story. So I'm taking the sled and, and doing a little exploring now. So hopefully we can get out onto Lobster Lake tomorrow. Either way, well, we're going to get on it. But rather than trailer all the way to Eddie Raymond's and then go down that bumpy trail, I'm trying to find us a little bit easier way in. I figured it's a good time to stop and get a cup of coffee, get my kidneys stop rattling from all that bumps. Let's see what's what's down here in the stream. That's little lobster right there. Any fish swimming around? It's pretty, it's so pretty up here in Maine. In Maine in general, then you come up here in the woods and it's even prettier. That sled, I can't tell you how impressed I am with that thing. I didn't have a lot to compare it to, but I'll tell you, I'm not a seasoned operator at all and I could be buried a lot of times and I haven't been buried 
too badly yet. All right, did it. Pretty pumped about it. Got quite a bit of snow on the machine. Even came over the hood a couple times. Broke trail, camps right over there. Lobster Lake is that way. We got a trail broken. I just plowed through and then came back, learned a ton. You know, the first time I broke this trail to get into camp, I didn't really know what I was doing at all. First one to admit it right here, no experience. This second time I did it in no time flat. Breaking trail that time went a heck of a lot quicker because I did two things different. You know, I, I stayed on the throttle pretty hard, you know, kept her over 25 miles an hour. So she was like floating and staying on top and doing a little drifting and I threw my weight around a lot more to control the snowmobile from digging in or augering down. So something I learned from the first time coming in where it took me like two hours to go a mile and a half, you know, breaking trail and flattening it for the other guys. I just did that in less than 20 minutes this direction by giving her a heck of a lot more throttle and throwing my weight around and using a little bit more experience. So I almost missed the trail once, I augered off it, but I was the first one to do this. We got 39 inches of snow right here pretty soft and it's starting to get packed now so tomorrow morning we'll be able to come out of camp which is right down there and go this way and hit lobster lake i'm going to time it right now to see how long it takes but it's not going to be too bad a ride there's a one bumpy section where it meets up with another trail and other guys have goosed it pretty hard but i'm stoked about packing this trail breaking this trail and finding it and finding the way through so i gotta get back get to go see the boys see if they caught any fish and get prepared for tomorrow we're back on track for lobster lake oops maybe a little too much confidence that time slid right off i probably could have goosed her i don't know but i got her stuck right now so gonna dig her out get her back up on top and wind her back down Thing of beauty, got her. Wasn't really stuck too bad, but stuck, stuck. I probably could have just goosed it while I was going down, but I don't know, once I get going sideways and get my weight going the wrong way, I just stopped it. But let's head her back. I'll tell you one thing, that full-size shovel is nice to have. She's deep, she's up over my waist. All right, I think we're good to go. Never really like rushing, but I got a little urgency to get back to the boys. I'm sure they're a little bit worried. So try not to do that again. That cost me five, 10 minutes. Just barely in the lap there. Oh, it's starting to come up. Whoa, there we go. There we go. Think about that. Look right in the top. Oh, it wasn't even barely hot. Nice one. Oh, come on, Jesus. Come on. Stop it. Find me. <laughs> there he is. Oh, go. look at the camera. You don't want to look? Nice one. There we go. There he is. I'll shoot him back down. Pretty one. Not me. How many fish you get? Uh, you got another nice one flags. after. Nice. How many flags? Uh, two or three more. And Elliot get any? Flags, but no fish. Yeah. Damn it. Did you save the bait? Saved the only one I could, big one. I made it to lobster. You did? It is a goat path from here. We're not going that way. Okay. I went across the lake, I popped out, and then I plowed a trail all the way to camp. To camp? Yeah. From where? We're going to pop out about 
500 yards north of Lobster Lake Camps. This comes out in Jackson's Cove, and I, I went, oh, okay. I went out yeah. and across. Yeah. And there's a camp above Lobster Lake Camps. Oh, you mean uh, Spencer Point? Uh, Spencer Point. Yeah. Oh, uh, so I popped out and I went through the woods, got on the Loop Road and went right past Little Lobster. Okay. I headed out. I hit the Golden Road. Yeah. And then I came back to camp. And then I just plowed that whole friggin' road out and around. The one going past Greg's? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I got her stuck once. Wow. I got a little confident, too confident. Wow. Wow. But I plowed it through, no so you, problem. So you can get on the lake good where you, where you popped off. The yeah, lake. it took me, I think it's like less than 20 minutes to get to the lake really? from Greg's. From Greg's? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's a little bumpy, but there's one ITS trail you hit. Yeah. The loop road wasn't bad. Yeah. Yeah. But we pop out right at Leadbetters, just north of Leadbetters. Okay, or but just, you're not going through that no. gate by lead bellows. No. no. Alright, let's get this thing loaded No, up. yeah, you, you're mm. smiling. No, we're not. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> because there's another single camp below that, lead bellows. That's the one, there's a single camp. Right. That's where we hit. Okay, that's, yeah. that's, used to be Mrs. Lead Bettas. Oh, okay. The, the parents That's of about Charlie. where I pick it up. Okay, and then you come out that road, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's some slush on the lake. Not bad. Uh, yeah, pr about the same as this. Okay. I'm surprised you guys are all picked up. Surprised? Yeah. 20 below out here. <laughs> oh my God. It's Jesus, he, I'm was, sweating. he slept twice. <laughs> he sleeps all the time. Couldn't get him off the sled. <laughs> well, I know he you was were. like, I'm going to take so. a nap when no one's screaming and yelling all night. <laughs> so he slept on the sled for like two hours. <laughs> Poor Donnie. I didn't, was, hear a thing. I didn't hear a thing. Take the hearing aids out, you're all golden. Yeah. So I loaded her up. Now we're heading back to camp. We're gonna fuel up all the snowmobiles because we got a little bit of a ride tomorrow and get all our ice fishing stuff ready and we're gonna go down to camp and have a great night, have a meal, play some cribbage and get all the gear ready for tomorrow. And then tomorrow we're gonna take a ride right from camp all the way to Lobster Lake. So I'm pretty excited about that. We won't have to load up or trailer or anything like that. The way I took from Eddie Raymond's store into Lobster is just brutal. It is a goat path. You're up, you're down, up, down, up, down, up, down. It's crazy. Just nonstop, relentless bumps. And you gotta, you gotta just find a speed that you could kind of skim over the top of them like it's waves on a lake that's tight. Because if you go too slow, you're gonna eat every single bump if you go too fast you can start breaking stuff either on the machine or on your body <laughs> lobster lakes no joke how how much slush there is on it there's a lot of slush on it so we're gonna have to be pretty strategic on where we fish and where we put the snowmobiles because you know i last thing i want to do is get the big one stuck but the two smaller ones i don't think are going to do too well out there there's a lot of snow out there and a lot of slush it was worse than moosehead was didn't see one fisherman out there, so that's a good thing. All right, all right, we made it back to camp. Ellie and I just took a real slow ride with all the gear and packed down that trail that I opened up so that way the boys won't have a problem tomorrow with the other snowmobiles. It is looking nice, trail's looking good, so we shouldn't have a problem. So tonight, this afternoon, we're gonna go through this tote sled and get it packed up with the stuff we need and then tomorrow, then tomorrow morning, hopefully we'll get out there early. If I can get these guys out of bed in the morning, we'll get them, we'll get over there early and get some fishing. We're not gonna get up early, I'm telling you that. We can't sleep here with this guy. Why? We're up all night. He's, That's not He's true. up there banging the wall. <laughs> I thought he and fell he, out of bed. And he's talking in his sleep and, I don't know, you, you must have had a bad childhood or something. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, he had a bad time in college. Oh, in college. That's yeah, what I heard his roommate was hard on him. Really? Yeah. My roommate was hard on him. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing? Just eating? Yeah, I have it. Oh, yes. Getting soft. Oh man, that's deep.
right there. Holy cow, this is a mess. Well, I gotta get all that stuff ready for tomorrow. Better do it now than in the morning, I think. What you working on over here, old fella? I'm having cranberry muffins. Is that for dessert? For supper, along with supper. Wow, what do you got We're going for supper? We're chocolate cream. We're having uh, right here, pork tenderloins, mashed potato, frozen peas, muffins, and chocolate cream pie for dessert. Wow. We be living like kings tonight, fellas. Yes, we will. Prince, Prince Elliot. <laughs> Elliot, don't he beg me to hire Elliot. I know. I wasn't then gonna. And then every day for for three straight months, he said, why don't you fire that lazy yeah. son of a... Remember that one time we were there in, uh, Donnie was there in Barbie. And something you said, oh, Elliot asked for the day off. Huh. And Donnie was like, you know he's taking the day off. <laughs> That's boiling. Yeah. It's boiling. So how long do I have to wait for this dinner? You know, if breakfast, if breakfast took this long. Fifteen minutes. <laughs> breakfast took this long, they'd be called lunch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Donnie, it's well worth the wait. You haven't eaten it yet. Yeah. Those. We're gonna have mashed potatoes instead of chunk potatoes. <laughs> it's happening, guys. It's happening. We've only been waiting since 4 4 14. It's now 6 17 5 30. Right Put it in front of Pat. This one is garlic and honey. This one just plain. Wow, Donnie. What is it? Pork tenderloin. Pork tenderloin. Cranberry muffins. Cranberry muffins. Sweet peas. Sweet peas with butter. And Mashed potato. Oh, you need a spoon for the potato. I don't know what butter is. Is that like butter? Yeah, come on, supper. You can fool with that foolishness later. Oh, Jesus, don't we? I was thinking we were going to just have breakfast. You're damn lucky to get it. Yeah, I know. You could be eating Joe's cooking. <laughs> very true. Very true. <laughs> no, thank you. You don't like them. No, I like them. No, you no, don't like them. They were good. No, you don't like I them. I love yet. them. They're well, my favorite. Yeah. Did you hear the selection? Well, you got it all right. I'm just going to eat whatever you cook because it looks fantastic. Don't complain. I'm not. No. You know the story. I do. What about the time frame? That's the only problem. You should start making dinner around lunchtime so we can eat. <laughs> Jesus, you don't get in here. You stay out half the night fishing. Whatever. You're the other one that wants to eat the early bird special every night. <laughs> what you got in the box, Elliot? Oh, chocolate pie. Open it up, please. Just let him do his kegels, Donnie. You want a piece, Elliot? No, I'm okay. Oh, I'm ready for bed already. Is that from Moody's? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I don't want one that big, but I'll take one. He's allergic to chocolate. You're allergic to chocolate? I'm not. It makes his belly swell. Witch's, witch's dead. <laughs> it's colder than a witch's dead, don't you? Oh, that's how that goes. <clears throat> Colder in a well digger's toe. Darker in a pocket. Slicker in a bottle. 
Remember you could you couldn't understand that bottle one? And now you use it all the time. All the time. He could not understand what that meant. What is it? Slicker in a bottle. Slicker than a bottle? Yeah. The roads. Yeah. Roads are like a bottle. Have you ever been in a lobster lake? Uh, it's no? pretty. You it's probably good. never want to go again. <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> and harder than a bottle in there. Open the door. Harder than a sieve. Harder than a sieve. sieve. Al one time I slept in two days. He was up here alone. This was, you know, I wasn't with Al. He said he caught a got hooked something right right up, up in here. That's the deepest part. That, where that too is. And the wind was he was in a canoe alone. And the wind was blowing straight this way. sideways. <clears throat> and he he landed the fish way down in the cove. Wow. And it was a seven pound salmon. Oh cow. That's a big salmon. Yeah. But he said he had a hell of a time. He just couldn't couldn't fight. You know, he's fighting the fish and he's yeah. fighting the wind. Ate you, Donnie. You're yeah. outlasting all these young pups. Yeah, I can't believe you're that. still working hard. Because he slept 19 hours to, last night. I'm trying to get it so I can get in the bed. That's kind of stuff everywhere. That's not my stuff. This isn't your green sack? Yes, it's mine, all right, Donnie? <laughs> huh? Is this your green yes, sack? Yes, it is. Okay, it's your stuff. Well, Jesus, what do you need? You could fatty, fatty two by four. Couldn't fit through the bathroom door. Well, I'm gaining, like you. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, that is gonna do it for tonight. Pretty good day, all, all in all. We found a way onto Lobster Lake. Found a way to get to Northeast Cary from here without even hooking up the trailers. I'm pretty tired from all that riding, beating up on those trails. We got a new trail packed down to get to Lobster tomorrow, and we're going to try to get into Lobster. So make sure you tune in for tomorrow's episode. I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe a big tog? Might Maybe we'll be stuck in the flock, in the uh, slush. Might get about three snowmobiles stuck. Yep. You never know. But it's going to be fun. I know that. Yep.